Okay, now let's open this sewing machine. I have yarn, and as I said, I have a bag of old shirts that I'm going to sew together to make a new backdrop for when I start doing the talkies again, which should be pretty soon. Of course, got a handle here. Oh, it's got one of those foot pedal things. I don't know how those, those work exactly, but it's a foot pedal thing that I can definitely use. Got an instruction manual, probably gonna have to read that because I don't know how I don't know the first thing about using a sewing machine. This will be about it. I have a spool of yarn. The shirts I have are right here. Um, let me try and get some better lighting. Okay. Now the shirts I have these I'll of course cut them in the squares and sew them together because of the fact that I can't really wear the shirts as much as anymore because you know whatever and I hopefully got enough to cover the space some are like not essentials but uh, if necessary I'll use them I have a Deadpool shirt uh, I believe this was my wife's. Uh, it's a f flimsy material, but uh, yeah, that's a if. Tasca suit of Texas, yeah, represent. Well raised. This is also a shirt I used to wear a lot. It's had better days, but it does have a cool emblem on the back there. Probably sew that in just in case. There's a shirt right here. It says, you look like I need another drink. Just a in-case one because I can't really wear that anymore. We got a squirrel with two acorns that says, protect the family jewels. Not really my style anymore. A glow in the dark. I mean, I still think it's funny, but it's not my style anymore. Uh, a glow in the dark um, drummer skeleton thing. Classic. Got a mindless self-indulgence shirt. It's too small. Well, at least now it is. Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles. This used to be my go-to Halloween costume. It was this shirt. Once again, it has seen better days. It glows in the dark. Oh, zombie repellent. This is actually a Resident Evil shirt. I wonder if it's a number. No, just a Resident Evil. Class O2. This is my high school shirt. Uh, I think it's from middle school, but you know, it's still class class O2. Was two no, whatever. Um, Gizmo. If you don't know my connection to the Gremlins thing, I have written a Gremlins three script. I'll have to uh, make that into something eventually, so I can show y'all what my idea for Gremlins three would have been. Um, this classic one right here, uh, Family Values Tour, from the Family Values Tour in 2007, uh, it was Corn, Evanescence, Flyleaf, and all the other people that are on the back of the shirt. Good shirt, like I said, it's, it's fading. And Army of Darkness, once again, big shirt, has seen better days. Those are going to be the ones I'm going to try and sew together to make the backdrop for my new talkie videos. So, yeah. Now i got to fold these back up. And set up the sewing machine, maybe. I don't know where.
I don't know if I ever showed you these, but uh, I got these off of Amazon. They're pretty cool. They're lights, but they're uh, USB lights. I plan to use them for my stop start animation on my studio. But they have different settings, as in one, two, three. Oh, sorry. No, <laughs> it's three. But basically, you know, the light, the LEDs, so I can set it up any way I need it. I have two of those, and they're. Um, USB, like so, the cords are USB. So that's pretty cool. I plan on using those. Maybe help me get better lighting. Of course, that needs like a dimmer switch, but yeah, not not a dimmer switch. But it was a, a soft soft filter on it, maybe. I just made an animation with this guy over here. Um, this is how it turned out. Something simple, um, just on my desk, and then, you know, eventually I hope to make like a full 10 minute sub -start animation movie, at least one, um, when I get the studio going, you know, have hopefully do a stop start, puppetry, and um, classic animation, at least one, you know, at least three of those in, in a year or however long it takes, that'd be pretty cool. Now the fun really begins because I'm leaving work. Um, I ran the AC, so that should mean that the car should be able to start. If not, I got to do like I did yesterday and go into TLE and ask them to uh, jump start my car with their portable jumper. We're going to see right now how this goes. Hopefully, good. We can always help. I gotta get jumped. Okay, well, on to TLE. Here we go. <laughs> that was crazy close. Got the car jumped. I'm at um, my wife's work, picking her up. Or not from the school, I'm not, I gotta exchange cars with her. But she's gonna have to get the car jumped when she leaves as well. So we can't get this fixed till, um, what is today? So we can't even get fixed for two days <laughs> till we get paid. Um, so we're just gonna have to keep on jumping the car and to get started. Uh, one of these days I jumped the car solo by myself uh, before I left because I leave for work at like 4 in the morning But uh, yeah, so waiting on her They're going through a fire drill right now, so gotta wait till after the fire drill yep. Now I'm stuck behind a truck. I'm stuck behind a truck. Sweet. I was a it's a big truck too because it's taking up two lanes I just want to say that I think the future is going to be amazing. I can't wait for the future to get here. You know, where like they have these automated cars that, that drive themselves and you can actually communicate with your family on family trips and the family can be all together while the car is driving on its automated path and whatnot. And 
just like, you know, food and, and groceries getting delivered right to your door so you don't even have to leave the house. I can't wait for the future because I don't like driving. I, I really don't. I, I, I suck at it. I'm just not, I mean, I'm a good driver, but like I miss turns. 